Welcome back to another video. This is the last video in my Xero Basics course. There will be other courses on Xero on bank reconciliations, reports and other extensive things. But as far as the basics go, when this video has finished you should know a fair amount of Xero and know pretty much the basics enough to be able to keep someone's accounts, basic accounts on Xero. So I'm going to cover four things in this video and that's paying invoices, receiving payments for invoices, so suppliers and customers, and then making payments and recording receipts. So payments to suppliers, payments to non-suppliers, receipts from customers and then receipts from non-customers. So the best way to record an invoice that has been paid is to go to accounts, not bank accounts, but actually sales or purchases. So let's say we want to record an invoice that has been paid, simply go to sales. We'll then be taken to the sales screen. You'll notice we have this awaiting payment. If we click on that button, will be taken to our sales invoices screen. There's a little piece of paper here. If you just click on that piece of paper of the invoice that you want to record as paid, you'll be taken to the invoice and it says awaiting payment. This is the invoice to Essex accountants that I raised earlier in this course. All we need to do is receive the payment down the bottom here. So you can do the date pay, let's say it was paid today. And it was paid into our business current account. We also have our credit card account. Let's do business current account. And then we can put a reference in. Once we have done that, we click add payment. And we'll get a confirmation that that invoice has been paid. If we then go to the bank accounts, you'll see that there is now £90 from Essex Accountants in the business current account. Okay, so this is the bank accounts and we have balance in X0, £90. If I click on the business current account, there should be that transaction of that money being received from Essex Accountants. So here we go, payment Essex accountants with the invoice and £90 received. So how do we record a supplier invoice that has been paid? Very much the same sort of procedure but this time with purchases instead of sales. So accounts, purchases and let's record this payment from the credit card this time instead of the business bank account. So here we go, awaiting payment, £100, that's the invoice we recorded earlier. This is the invoice, £100, simply click on that sheet of paper again. We're taken to the actual invoice, put the date in that we paid in, let's say we paid it last Friday from the credit card, click add payment and then that invoice will be marked as paid. So we get our confirmation paid £100. Once again, if we go to the bank account screen, you'll see that we have that £90 out of the credit card account. So our credit card shows minus £100. So we've made that payment of £100. Now how do we record transactions that are not allocated to purchase or sales invoices, let's just say an insurance direct debit that goes out once a month or bank charges. Quite simply, just click manage account and click spend money or receive money and follow the page. It's very straightforward. And I'll just show you quickly. So let's click on spend money. You're taken to this screen, simply put in the date, the description, the quantity, unit price, the accounts of insurance or bank charges and then the tax rate if any. Once you're all done click save and that is done. I understand that some things in this course I've gone through very quickly. 
But just like all new things, it's important that you practice yourself. I'm quite confident that you will learn a lot more if you have a brief guide by myself and then you practice yourself rather than me showing you everything with no practice. So go to Xero. Try recording payments and receipts and paying invoices and adding invoices and adding contacts and everything that's been covered in this course. Thank you so much for watching. I generally make videos for demand. So the bank reconciliation course for Xero is on my to-do list and so are other videos to do with Xero. But if I have more demand for other videos, they will take priority. So please let me know if you're desperate for a bank reconciliation course on Xero or other videos. And you might have some suggestions for videos that are not even related to Xero. If you do, then please just let me know and I'll add them and I'll add them to my to do list and then upload them in priority of demand. Thank you again for watching. If this course has been useful, you can go to my website and make a donation, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. There's also over 200 other free bookkeeping and, and accounting videos on my website, so go and have a look. Thanks again for watching. Please like and please subscribe.